Okay guys, we're going to do a brief overview of how to ultrasound and locate the greater saphenous vein in the leg. You're going to start with either your sauna site or your sight right. <clears throat> Turn it on. All you have to do is make sure you have gel on your probe. And the probe that you're going to want, there's usually two or three different probes per cart. You're going to want this small rectangular one that's long and skinny. And the center of the probe is going to be where you want to center the vein on the screen for marking purposes. Um, you're going to place the leg in a frog leg position, of course, while they're prepping the patient in the same position that the harvester is going to be harvesting from. And your landmark is going to be right in the groove between the muscle and the tendon. And the vein is always lower on the leg than you think. Um, you can spend a lot of time looking above, but you definitely want to start in the lower half. And the best place to start, put a little gel on the leg as well as on the probe. You're going to start a little high, straight up and down, perpendicular to your leg and you're just going to slowly slide down watching the screen. So I'll show you as well. You're going to start high and then you're going to slowly slide down until you locate the vein which is right now in the center of the screen. That's your greater saphenous vein. It's uh, fairly superficial and you can confirm it by pushing up and down on the leg. You can see the greater saphenous actually winking at you like an eyeball. So I'll show you here on the probe. If you just slowly push up and down, you can confirm that you have the greater saphenous vein or not. While you're probing your leg, you don't want to push down though. You just want to kind of run the probe on the surface of the leg uh, so it slides. If you're pushing down while you're trying to find it, you're actually going to collapse the vein and you won't be able to locate it. Um, so it's fairly simple. Once you find it, keep it in the center of the screen and then we'll show you here on the screen. As I work the probe, up and down the leg, what it looks like. You'll see, I can kind of follow it all the way up and you'll see the side branches coming in and out and you'll see change in the, the muscle layers and tissue layers of the, of the leg. But if I keep my probe in the same spot and kind of run it up and down the leg, I can confirm the size uh, and just make sure there's no anomalies to the anatomy of the, of the vein. So that's it. That's a basic overview. If you want to continue, you can also continue down the lower leg following from where you started on the upper leg. Great, thanks.